hello guys and um, welcome back to our youtube channel as always this is where we talk to you about legal matters how it affects your life and how it affects your businesses so today we're going to be talking about something very important that um, affects the lives of virtually everyone and in the aviation sector really so now the topic basically is know your legal entitlement when your flight is cancelled now, commercial air transportation is sometimes bedeviled with events that threaten customer satisfaction. Of course, you know that flight cancellation is one of such events. You know, flight cancellation is a major inconvenience to passengers because it causes huge delay. People miss meetings, you miss appointments, you know, that can cost you a whole lot just because of flight um, cancellation. So now, you should understand that Nigeria derives its aviation liability laws from the international conventions governing civil aviation, governing civil aviation liability, to which Nigeria is um, a party. Now, the Civil Aviation Act of 2006, as a principal legislation regulating liability of airlines in Nigeria, domesticated the what we call the Montreal um, convention of 1999 yes 1999 so generally the civil aviation act is what governs aviation laws in nigeria all right now however there is no international convention on flight cancellation interestingly i'm talking to you about your legal entitlement um when your flight is cancelled but now the law that governs it even the civil aviation act and international conventions they don't provide specifically for flight uh, cancellation the closest provision really to flight cancellation in the civil aviation act is the one that talks about delay but you will agree with me that delay is entirely different from cancellation all right they look similar but it's a totally different thing when you say your flight is delayed and your flight is cancelled in a, because in the situation of delay the flight eventually occurs while in an instance um, of cancellation, the flight does not occur at all. All right. In other words, cancellation constitutes non-performance of the contract of carriage. You know, so that's that's basically um, the difference. But when your flight is cancelled, the Nigeria Civil Aviation Regulation. So remember, I told you the Nigeria the Civil Aviation Act does not really speak to cancellation, but the Nigeria Civil Aviation Regulation of 2015 defines flight cancellation as the non-operation of a flight which was previously planned and on which at least one seat was reserved. So that particular regulation talks about flight cancellation and also prescribes your rights and what you're entitled to when your flight is cancelled. You know, a distinction between delay and cancellation is necessary because of the different stand, different standards of the liability of airlines in both situations. You know, for instance, under the Nigeria Civil Aviation Regulation of 2015 I just talked about, while an event of cancellation can invoke monetary compensation, an incidence of delay we don't invoke monetary compensation. So now I'm going to talk to you about your your entitlements in the instance of your flight being cancelled. My flight has been cancelled before, and I know how I felt. Like you know, it was so bad. And um, if your flight is cancelled and you don't know your entitlements, it's going to be a very bad deal for you. So let's look at your legal entitlement under the Nigeria Civil Aviation Regulation. The first one is your right to care. All right. So when your flight is cancelled, according to Part 19.7.1 of the Civil Aviation Regulation, the, the, that particular provision is to the effect that when a flight is cancelled, passengers must be offered care by the air carrier. If Air Peace cancels your flight, they must provide you with care. Now, care in this regard implies that after two hours of the scheduled departure time, passengers must be given refreshments. Now, what refreshment means is really not defined. So, you can't say, oh, refreshment means give me rice, give me beans, give me chicken, give me agbado, give me corn, give me uh, cassava. 
They give me so so it, 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 but but they must provide refreshment. Everyone knows refreshment means something you can eat, something you can use to take care of you, just to calm yourself down. So they have to provide provide it. Although the regulation does not specifically tell what refreshment um, entails. All right, passengers are also entitled in that instance to be offered two telephone calls, SMS or emails. So the airline is expected to give you um, maybe a phone airtime to make calls. To make about two telephone calls because the presumption is that when your flight is cancelled, people there are people waiting for you. So you have to notify them that oh, I'm not coming anymore. And you shouldn't do that with your money because you didn't you didn't cost the, the, the cancellation. So the airline is expected to provide um those things. So now this provision is exclusive and it does not matter the reason behind the cancellation, whether it's weather or anything, you know, or whether the flight was cancelled due to extraordinary circumstances beyond the control of the air carrier. Once it is cancelled, you are entitled to um, care. Now, the next is that you are entitled to notification of flight cancellation. So, the airline is expected to notify you in the event of flight cancellation. Of course, it is expected that passengers scheduled, passengers scheduled on such flight be notified on time. You know, air flights these days, they don't really notify people. But it is a responsibility incumbent on them to notify you well ahead of time before the cancellation air flight airlines operating domestic flights in nigeria from what i have experienced most times do not notify passengers of cancellation um passengers only get to know just few minutes few hours to the scheduled departure time uh, a time at which passengers would have occurred incurred expenses coming down to the airport you know amongst others now the regulation is silent on the mode of informing. But for me, I think notifying the passengers by SMS, by telephone call, by email. Because when we buy tickets, we put some of those information there. So as a passenger, you are expected to be notified um, of your flight cancellation. Air carriers are released from this obligation, from um, their obligation to provide care to passengers. When flight cancelled is when the flight cancellation, you are notified of the flight cancellation at least 24 hours before the scheduled departure time. So if you are leaving um, um, today, uh, tomorrow, and they notify you of the cancellation 24 hours before, before your departure time, the provision that says they must give you care, you know, is released. It's, it's, they are no longer obliged. So if they notify you 24 hours, you cannot go to the airport and say, where's my refreshment for cancellation? You're not entitled to that um, anymore because you were notified well ahead. Now, the other one is immediate reimbursement of ticket price or rerouting. So when your flight is cancelled, you should understand that you are entitled to a reimbursement of your ticket price or rerouting. Rerouting means they will give you another way of getting to your destination. So if it's a flight from Lagos to Abuja, they can say, okay, you know what? Take this flight. We, we, we don't have a flight going to Lagos from Lagos to Abuja, but we can give you a flight from Lagos to this state, from this state, then to Abuja. That's rerouting. If they don't have that, they can then say, okay, you know what? We're going to give you your money back. All right? But as for international flights, the regulations prescribe reimbursement within 14 days. All right? Any airline that, any airline's contract of carriage stating that a refund will be given at any other time will contravene the provisions of the regulation and will be invalid, null, and void. So you're entitled to a reimbursement if it's a local flight, immediate cash repayment, reimbursement. Or they give you another way of getting to your destination, another flight, rerouting. It's very important to, um, to, note, um, to note that, all right? So now, when a rerouting takes place, and the new flight is reasonably expected to depart at least a day after the departure planned for that cancelled flight. Passengers are expected to be provided with rerouting under comparable transport um, con um, conditions to their final destination. So don't say because they are rerouting you, they will not give you a very terrible airline or airplane to, to go with. So these are your rights. And I think you have learned some things from here. Please subscribe to our channel. And always ensure you enforce your rights whenever. So if they don't give you these things, you can go to court, you know, to enforce these rights. That's the interesting part about it. Please subscribe, like, 
drop your comments and share this video. Thank you very much.